What's up, everybody? We just finished uh, Winnie John's fight. So this is my buddy, Andres Borrega. Yes, That's it, right? Borrego. Borrego. Yeah. This is my man, Andres. He's a pro boxer. He is from Denver with us at Genesis. This guy's had a zillion fights, <laughs> and uh, it was great having him in the corner. So if you watch the fights, Whitney lost a decision tonight, but we were just going to talk about what the week has been like. Man, it's been chaos, right? Crazy, uh, nothing but non-stop going, 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 and then kind of trying to chill out and then going, 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 so yeah. Yeah, one thing about these influencer events that I didn't realize is it's not like a normal fight week. They literally had filming, interviews, documentaries, the schedule. I don't necessarily fully agree with when you're supposed to be an athlete and perform because it was just non-stop. Like, she didn't get a ton of time this is an excuse, but there wasn't a lot of recovery time. There wasn't a lot of downtime, rest time. Um, just a little bit different experience for me and for you as far as fights go, because usually fight week is restful. Um, we keep looking up because I'll show you in a minute, but we've got the fights up on the screen, the rest of the fights going on. Uh, Jarvis just finished Tom Zanetti, or the corner threw in the towel, and L. Brook and Danielka, uh, yeah. is it, I don't know, Danielka is what they call it. Miss Danielka or something like that. Yeah, these two have been going at it. Um, if you're not familiar with what we're talking about, it's the Kingpin Boxing event. Um, we're here in London, so we came from Denver to London for the fight, and we've been here a week tomorrow pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's been a cool experience. I'm super proud of Whitney. She fucking fought her ass off. And I would say, those two should have been the finals fight, in my opinion. I'm biased, but uh, both girls have power. They're bigger, they're stronger, um, and hats off to Barbie, too. You know, I'm bummed out that Whitney didn't get the win, but Barbie bought her ass off, too. She was throwing some big bombs. Yeah, this was an absolutely uh, crazy experience, and just seeing all this stuff has been amazing. But yeah, these two girls put it all on the line. For two girls that don't uh, do this, or haven't done this, it's been amazing to see them put the work and the time in. Uh, and for both of them, even though there was a winner raised, uh, for both, they both were winners tonight. Uh, yeah. This fight was crazy. They both put in some crazy work and it showed tonight. I will say, we were talking about like the influencer boxing scene is uh, sometimes it can be kind of irritating for guys like us <laughs> yeah. that do our entire life into this. But a lot of the fighters came prepared that we've seen. Um, and now, they, like Jarvis just fought, he's still in the ring, but I mean, he is rolling, slipping, countering, you know, playing like high guard. Like the the technique is getting better. I remember the first influencer shows where it's just kind of like slapping around. And I like seeing them. I'm cool with the influencer events as long as like they take it serious and put the actual work in. Yeah, and not acting as like a joke. There's a lot of these people at the beginning were saying, 
Well, what we've heard is, oh, I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. When you've never really been in there to really figure it out what you're going to do until you actually get in there. So uh, it's just been awesome to see these guys actually prepare for this and look the way that they do because this is what the real sport of like boxing really looks like and yeah. what, what, what we're doing and everything like that. So Yeah, I mean, the, the fight's like the, the quality is getting better and better. So it's really cool to see. Um, this is just a short little interview with Andres. And <laughs> we'll be yelling in the hallway. Um, yeah, we're here at Wembley. I mean, look how big these events are. And uh, it was a really cool experience. And now we're on to the next fight. So that's June 3rd in Dublin, which, uh, you know, now we know tons of things to tighten up, prepare for. Plus, Whitney has the experience of a fight now. Having your first fight is the most exhausting thing ever. I don't really remember my first fight. I don't and remember mine. I don't remember my coaches talking to me between rounds. I just had like a blank stare because it's like shock almost. Um, and now she's going to roll into that second fight with the experience and like be able to settle down more and everything. It happens to everybody on their first fight. Well, in my first pro fight, I don't remember anything. And I had 317 amateur fights before that. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> experience takes time. Yeah. It's all hey. learning lessons. Anyway, she's out of the shower, and we're on to the next one. See you soon. Sightsee, because now we actually can do something. What? Hello. Mama? The London Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.